Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take Namibia and welcome to the next Magdaisa Star Season 3 Episode 9. My name is She Ulenga and so far what an incredible journey we are on. The land of the brave you have decided, you have voted your top 15. Later on we get to make that announcement but for now remember that your vote is 60% belongs to you and 40% belongs to our judges. Before we get into our top 15 announcement, we're going to have a quick chat with the gentleman that has been part of the next Magdaisa a star competition since the very beginning. He is well known as the music director for a band known as the Hot Pockets, but in his capacity as a trailblazing session musician, which kicked off season one's finale with us, Fernando Polis, aka Pew. Mm -hmm. We can we'll stick to Pew most for now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we welcome to the Magdaisa Star you competition. For me. Yeah. Thank you for Pio, let's start with the very first question. Let's dive mm -hmm. right into it. Mm -hmm. Being part of the Magdaisa Star Competition Season yeah. 1 finale, yeah. how was that experience and that journey for you? Yeah, it was uh, very, very exciting actually uh, because uh, um, I, I grew up, you know, in the era when Magdaisa was actually booming. So uh, being part of the journey where we're looking for the new star, that, that was actually a good experience for me. And, and, uh, we really had fun that, that evening. So, yeah. Okay, I would like to ask you this question just yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. clearly the competition mm -hmm. is a platform to yeah. harness and mm -hmm. groom new talent. Yes. Imagine you must have had the challenge of working with mm -hmm. brand new talent that has never mm -hmm. even performed with a band. Yeah. Tell us about some of the challenges that you face as a music director and what kind of tips and tricks did you have to give the contestants? Um, it, it was all about trusting the process and then since it's a competition as well, uh, you need to have that extra edge, you know, and, and, and being ready, you know, being almost like being thrown to the wolves mm. for the first time. So those were the type of things that uh, that they were actually looking at and that we were also offering to them and, and, and actually just being prepared in, mm -hmm. in general. 
So yeah, uh, like yeah. So at the time I came in, it was during the final, the the, the, the final itself. So the ones that we had there, so they they had uh, a bit of you know experience in that, but that's why they made it mm -hmm. to the final. So mm -hmm. that that was easy. Mm -hmm. as well, yeah. Is this mm. the first time that you are working with Velvet Show Music Productions, or do you have some type of a history mm. with the music company? Yeah, yes, I've I've worked with them uh, when I was 16. Uh, they're, they're, wow. the, yeah, the drummer at the time, the legendary Salex, yes. uh, he, he couldn't make it. So my uncle was playing for Vel Velvicia at the time. So wow. he just grabbed me and uh, I showed up. And ever since then, we've, we've, we've been working together, yes. Wow. When, whenever they needed me. 16, yes. Wow. In Arandas, mind you. In Arandas, no work. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It does as well, well, yeah. We've heard mm. that you are a session musician yes. and uh, that mm. you will be playing mm -hmm. for this finale for season two yeah. as well. Yeah. What are your thoughts mm. around the competition mm. so far? Mm. And have you picked up any potential as to who might be the next to my place a star? Uh, yes, I, I actually like the growth compared to last time when we started. Mm. Uh, people actually well prepared mm. uh, in the videos and in their presentations, they are well prepared. So I'm actually really, really excited, you know, for that finale. And, and also on our side, we, we are also prepared because uh, during the first season, uh, uh, it was uh, like the first one. So at the time, we didn't have enough uh, resources mm. and enough time. But now, you know, it, it's really, we, we know what we're doing and uh, the organizers, mm. Steve and them, you know, Stella, they know what they're doing. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited about that one. And I, I love the fact that there's also growth in the cost, uh, contestants mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. It's not just uh, the production team. So that should be an uh, interesting combination. Yeah. Now the contestants are yeah. watching right now. Mm -hmm. As a music director, yeah. what kind of tips would you give them once they step into the rehearsal room yeah. with you yeah. as well as step onto stage to make it to the finale? Yeah, I always uh, prepare for anything. Uh, rehearse at home. Uh, know a little bit of how bands work, watch live concerts, you know. Uh, you know, YouTube has everything. You know, you can watch how people are rehearsing or how they are learning how to rehearse even. So all of those things, you know, it, it, if you are prepared and you come in that uh, platform, you know, you will stand out, you know, you will stand out and, and that's how people win. It's the ones that stand out, it's the ones that are easy to work with and the ones that understand that it's live music, you know, so they, uh, they, they really need to, to do their homework at the, and then before they get there as well. And I know mm. you, I've had yes. the opportunity to mm -hmm. at least step into a rehearsal mm. studio with you. Yeah. You don't smile <laughs> in that room. And yeah. a can you see, you mm. have to show up with your heart yeah. as well. Yeah. Pew, thank you very much for joining us mm. back on the set of the next Mike Blazer Star competition. We look forward mm. to watching your expertise unfold yeah. at the grand finale. Uh, thank you very much for having me. It should be fun. That is Pew. That's how he's known at least. But his yeah. name is Fernando Paulus, yeah. who's a music director and has worked on exceptional programs throughout the land of the brave on projects such as the Namas and now on the next Mike Star competition. When we come back, we are making our big announcement as to who is making it to the top 15. <laughs> And now, Kung In, the moment you have all been waiting for on this episode, your top 15. To vote for Natasha, SMS M04.
to vote for Wallace SMS M36. Competition SMS M zero six. From a clean aka Damarahan SMS M09. Hosa Damarahan Sakaba Hosa Damarahan Sakaba Kaze da kegen am du e Ravets ke di kawa ke kwan Me 
For Nadine, SMS M07. SMS M38 I do Dida twida a kavi khane um arisna Kai beidara basti sta sabasi Kai kweske ti twan ka pa muda ma Ke ke pa khus ka kwa kha o Ti faut twina ra mu Tunu garang
to keep Olivia in the competition, SMS M40. To vote for Eunice, SMS M12. To vote for Leslie, SMS M02.
to vote for Rikunaldis. SMS M05. To vote for Miss V, SMS M01. To vote for Monica, SMS M13. Ropa, ajá, ropa. 
to vote for Daniel, SMS M34. Yolanda, SMS M double one. SMS M31 
Dibalo in the competition, SMS M08. Decided. There you have it for your top 15. It is now time for us, however, to share their challenge into the next round. In the next challenge, San Velvetra Music Production will provide the top 15 with original beats. The contestants are expected to choose one beat and write their own lyrics to the beat in more than one Namibian language. It is to test their level of creativity, how innovative they are, and to see whether they can be diverse enough to include all the languages, complements of the land of the brave. This round will tackle the ability to write their own song with the objective of inclusivity. Tell us, on our social media platforms, do you think that your favorite can make it into the next round? Let's wait and see what your vote says next week. Yeah. 
The next Mike Taysa Star Competition Season 3 is brought to life by San Belvicho Music Production. In partnership with the National Theatre of Namibia, the National Arts Council of Namibia, the Namibian Broadcasting Corporation and Gay Summers FM, a word of gratitude is always extended towards the College of the Arts for continually availing their premises for the competition's rehearsals. Let's meet back here again next week, same time, same place. In the meantime, head on over to social media, like, share, follow and subscribe. Until next time, Bengris. Someone of the Hatunga, 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 Hatunga